Recording in progress. Oh. Damn, man. Wait, <laughs> it's been years Three, since I've seen y'all niggas. Two. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do I need another repeat on that? Three, two. Hey, Aaron. Why not? Don't you got a haircut, right. man. Kente Claw. Kente Claw? Do you ever wear Kente Claw? Hold on. Hey, y'all know how literate I am with this shit. This shit just went out again. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, Bro. <laughs> wait, wait. Can we just... Come on, man. Before we even we get, get into Good anything. Chavis. what Nancy Pelosi sexual track? Is that what that was? Yeah, I guess that's what I guess that's what it is, man. I guess. It's, your I'm, track. You know, <laughs> it's it's actually it's not it's not my song. It's a kid named Samson. I guess him and Kato was working on some shit, and Kato called me one day. He was like, "Hey, man, um, I got this kid. I want you to jump on this track." I was like, "Send it to me." He's like, "Um, I guess Andrew Schultz and all them dudes. The track went viral on TikTok or some shit, and it's called Nancy. That's." It's basically the the whole plot of it is Jaron <laughs> fucking Nancy Pelosi. Where, where do we start? Yeah, where do we start? Uh, how long? First of all, how long has it been, man? It's been several. Has months. it been a year? No, it, no, no, no. It's probably been like seven or eight months. Had I had I climbed Kilimanjaro? No. Okay. So it's been summertime, probably. We can look July. It mm -mm, mm -mm. Before, before. I'm this when whole did, episode. I'm just gonna try to figure out how to pin Jaron on uh, Zoom. That's, that's all when did when did you go on tour with Coast Country, Max? When was that? First <laughs> the first tour? time? Seven months ago is when, when the last one we did was. What was the date? It was when I think he went on tour. They went on tour at Corday. May 25th. Was that the beginning of the end? Yeah, May 25th. <laughs> that was that was well after tour, but um I have no idea. All right, so Jaron, how you been? It's been a while since we spoke. I've been spoke. chilling, man. I've been kicking it, man. I can't even complain, man. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> you can complain really? a little bit. Complain for three minutes. Uh, no, nah, I'm cool, man. I, I mean, I just, I ain't been doing shit, man. Just really been getting into this uh, experimental shit, man. That's that's really all I've been doing. I, Are you I've finally like on LSD, near, yeah? I've, I've, I've <laughs> damn near abandoned rap. I got to get oh. back on it. Oh, shit. What you been doing? What do you mean experimental? Like indie stuff? Yeah, He's a I've rocker. Been doing a bunch of indie shit, man. He's a bit of a rocker. Oh, now. bro! This shit, this shit kind of turned out fire, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm impressed with this shit. Are you doing like white boy music, bro? Oh yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> you're supposed to send it's me some. You never sent it. It's straight. I, I, I wanted, I wanted to be complete. I, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all. I think my yeah, white give boy. Us a, give us a little snippet right yeah, now. I think my white boy activities rubbed off on Jaren. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a little snippet, man. I'm, 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 I'm full white boy right now, man. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let me see. Bro, I need, need time. I need you to help me figure out how to pin Jaren. I'll, I'll do it. I got you. Okay, okay. Because I'm not doing on the phone. Aaron's our guy now. Aaron's the guy. What y'all yeah. trying to do? I'm just trying to pin you on uh, the fucking Zoom. On Aaron, you a millionaire yet? Who? Aaron? Aaron? Yeah, Aaron's a millionaire. He's got like new jobs. Oh, he's got oh, news. news. There you go. We've all, all right, got thanks. news. Oh, no. Wait, what, what, what? We're waiting for Jaren? Oh, what else? I'll give you what a, else quick, is a quick snippet of some shit. Go ahead. A quick peek under oh, the dress. This this just straight white. Oh, okay, okay. This is pretty good, man. Is this you singing, bro? It's me. He's gonna be like Mac DeMarco and all these hipster girls yeah, in overalls. Man, I'm, You're gonna be. I'm straight uh, I'm white boy now. I'm, 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 I'm That's just, Are you putting it out as Jaron Benton or as Joe Schmo? Oh, no. This shit is not coming out as me. Dude, <laughs> this shit. <laughs> that, nah. What's your white boy alter ego? What is the name? Uh, Y'all know it, but I don't want to say it because then people, once I start putting <laughs> yeah. shit out there, go back and lay, oh, that's him. Wow. I'll play this episode out of seven fans. <laughs> That's interesting. That's an interesting turn of events because he's like a shock rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Where he yeah. talks about like devil shit, murdering your mom with his penis, you know? And then and then <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden he's like, you know, he's emo. You know? <laughs> like actually, wow. I'm y'all know this this some little daft punk style shit I did. They always say saddest is underneath oh, anger. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he's doing now he's taking us to daft. We can't hear it. I can't hear shit, bro. You look like Stevie right now. Can you hear that? Nah. Nah. No. No. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Wait, wait, go ahead. I heard some oh, shit. Like an alien. 
I'm flat. He's a happy he, white guy. He, he finally took Prozac. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Holy let's shit! See if I get pulled over, man. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how that goes. Oh my god! He finally found Prozac. That's crazy. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Well, that, yeah, man. Creature of the night, huh? Okay. Huh? All right. Aaron, how's your seven months? Uh, I've had a rough seven. Oh months. damn! All right. Let's see what happened. I started a new job. I became creative director of One Fluent Media. Well, you're creative director? Yeah, Yo, creative. Jared just, I'm creative director. Jaron just keeps coming up because look, when we Aaron, met man. him, I mean, Aaron just keeps coming up. When we met him, he was a, a sandwich shop guy. Wait, you were a creative sandwich. director the last time I saw you, like a few weeks ago. No, I was. I've been I've oh. been creative director for. And this nigga's uh, secretary of state now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, from disgruntled sandwich guy to like top media mogul. Yeah, creative director at One Fluent Media. It's That's nice. Insane. All these like YouTubers like respect me, and they have to like talk. They, they need my approval, which is crazy. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, um, that's amazing. But um, this is why we haven't been able to get him in for an episode. Yeah. So no. I've been mm -hmm. doing that. Producing YouTube content like Guess the Virgin for the guys, these guys called the Cam Boys. Look them up on YouTube. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's just plugging his shit. Making, yeah. uh, this is your shit. Um, He's a different dude now. And I'm livid. Making Snapchat content. I made a Snapchat show called Girl Boss. It brought in $50,000 in one month. That's how I got Whoa. the job as creative director. It was really simple. I was like, we should just show Lana Rhodes' ass. And the, we became like the top <laughs> show on Snapchat and made a lot of money. Um, Holy get, shit! Get a little piece Maybe of you're that. the one who took Prozac. What so, the fuck? <laughs> so I did that, and then Adderall. Yeah. Then I left my girlfriend for my 23 uh, year old coworker at that hold same, on, hold that same job. Hold on, hold on. All I'm saying is this is this is the picture of success. You're, you're telling me <laughs> that it's been a rough year, but <laughs> well, it's yeah, gonna it like this nigga been balling. Well, let's out. back up for a second. So the last time we did an episode, you and I were roommates. Uh, oh, that's damn! Y'all niggas ain't roommates no more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's what happened. Yeah, he yeah. finally got free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and now the come I was up watching is, over him, make sure he was a good and boyfriend. Now, no, now the come up is complete. Now <laughs> I moved in with my girlfriend from that situation. Yeah. Okay, as did I. And then uh, now we're both being. No. And then I started <laughs> working at One Fluent Media, and um, okay, there's this there was this attractive lady there, and uh, she got oh. me hooked, man. I don't know. At first, it was friendly text, you know? About work? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, actually, it was. At first, it was about work. Hey, you know the Wi-Fi code. You know what I mean? Simple text to kind of get in Oh, there. yeah, classic. And then we kept hanging out, hanging out. She told me she was in love with me. Kept hanging out, wow. hanging out. And then... Oh, how, how long How long has this is a span of? Since October. So I saw him, like, <laughs> mid-October, and he tells me about this girl. Is it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And... uh and he's like, I'm talking to her, but I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I'm in a relationship, and I, so it is whatever. But I mean, she's cute. Look, we text a little, but it's it's work. I'm not going to do nothing. Plus, we work together. It's a work like, wife. That's yeah, what I thought in my yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah, Two days later. Love a work I wife. I call him. He's like, ah, I slept with Alexis. <laughs> wow. wow. Two days later, he's living with it now. Yeah. No, that was the next day. Well, pretty much, I, I mean, I see her every night now. Um... The crazy shit is when we first kind of did this, you were the one who was kind of like, you didn't want to get too crazy with your bedroom activities. Yeah. You know, he sometimes gets squeamish when we're talking about some of the crazy shit. Yeah. And I just got off a conversation with Aaron talking about, and now she, you know, wants penetration and I'm eating ass. Aaron is <laughs> nastier than <laughs> we've big. ever been. Damn, bro. Aaron is a porn star now. Yeah, he's a big ass eater. Yeah, yeah, doing that a bunch. Um, <laughs> well, watch out, man. You can catch your cola like that. Yeah, I, <laughs> probably. Cola. Something, something. But you know what? It's a good life. Uh, I'm grateful. Dude. And now my ex is paying the half of the rent. Like, I, how did you manage I, this that? motherfucker? Whoa, no, it's, it's, it's it honestly is. like everything is working out. Give us the blueprint too bro. well. That <laughs> Wait, like, why is she half the we need the cheat codes, bro. Because she doesn't want to move her stuff you, out. Who gave you the cheat codes, Aaron? Come on, I, I, dude. I'm telling you, God, this, this is not good. Whatever's gonna come when the other shoe drops. Oh, the other shoe's gonna drop. Yeah, so it might, it might not. You know, it might not drop, bro. I don't, it might not. I don't know. How how did your girlfriend? How did she find out? I told her. Oh, uh, you crushed her. <laughs> I came in and I said, "Hey, we got we can't do this anymore." You kept it real. I said, "We can't do that night." I said, "I we can't do this." Kept anymore. it a buck. 
He tasted that 23 year old shit. Was shit, like, mm, was shit, we can't do was shit rocky between y'all before this happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be fair, it could have been because of that two months I was texting the 23 year old. That can bring some rocks into Just you know, the equation, yeah. <laughs> also, I mean, don't want to speak for my ex, whatever. She was going through some stuff too. Sure, sure. Some mental health stuff. It was, yeah. you know. Shout out Aaron's ex, but you yeah. Know, yeah. You know, we, you Much love to Caitlin, her for man. Real. We're, we're turning the page. I, I, hope, I hope I hope you're okay. I hope you're getting through this. Yeah, I think I think she. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Yeah. yeah. So, but I we wish her the best for real. Wish yeah. her the best, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep grinding. Bro. Hopefully, take everything. Gotcha's away from that scumbag she dated for a few years. <laughs> Holy, I've never seen like a a, a stand up comedian with such a successful side hustle it's, to the degree where he's like boning twenty three year olds. I mean, it's just yeah, more more okay, money than yeah. I've ever had. It's inspiring. More money than I've ever had in my life. And um, let me hold also, something. also to be fair, I didn't realize how impoverished I was. You know, once like you once you, once a lot I, of oatmeal would be like I, together. Yeah, you made oatmeal of, like two out of the three that's meals. That's eating quinoa and turkey. Now yeah. it's like, even I'm not even making that much. I make I bring home like a thousand dollars a week now. You know, mm-hmm. but Bad. but like now, I mean, I can like go out to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can. You're get, never going I'm back. I'm getting shoes. Yeah, it's, well, I'm kind of handcuffed by this corporate job now. Yeah, never going back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to go back yeah. to eating. Yeah. Quinoa and turkey when I'm eating salmon. I've got some 23 year old cooking me some pasta. Like uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm blessed right now. Blessed. But you know who knows when summer happens. Is she going on hey, spring listen, break man. in Miami? Because <laughs> <laughs> she crazy. Because young bitches get crazy. Yeah. Are you? Do you feel hooked though? A little. I mean, obviously physically, but like, do you feel like? If she was to do some fuck shit, would would, would you be devastated? This juncture? I'm kind of I'm kind of accepted that some fuck shit will happen. Uh, it's just she's That's too hot. Outlook. She's a 23. Year, so there's no fucking way that it won't happen. There's right? no way, yeah, or that it might be happening. Like now. she was telling me how she was getting courtside tickets at Clippers games. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, yeah, she's I gonna mean, get real, bro. Exactly, Clippers. Clippers exactly. It's like, it, it so, she's like more, so she's like a nine. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so she's the six man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was getting courtside at. You know, she's a hot 23 year old in L.A. Sure, she would go out to the. So. I'm just enjoying myself while yeah. I can. This is a great experience. I like your perspective. Also, it's my first time being 27 and single. So now I've like, back then I couldn't fuck oh, these 23 year olds. You know what I mean? Now I have an Amex Platinum car. You know what I mean? I can get us in a lounge every now and then. Yeah. Like I can do some things that Look I couldn't do before. Aaron. So I feel hopeful. There's a lounge some, guy. Some barista, she, the barista, I was t- she keeps hitting on me. She's like, oh my God, I love your glasses. They're wow. So unique. Aaron, Aaron is coming into his own here, man. This Look is beautiful. Look at my man Aaron. I'm growing man. up, dude. It's full not- bloom. Aaron, Aaron in full bloom. <laughs> Look at Aaron on turn to a fucking so. squeamish guy to the Playboy. Now. Look at him, man. <laughs> this is bizarre. Yeah. Not a yeah, not yeah. a Playboy, but it is exciting. It is exciting yeah. to know that like I can bang 23-year-olds and like yeah, man. live a good life. That's good for you, man. Good how, for you. How, how's your year been, man? My year's a mess. I guess it's when you when you get married, man. Oh That's yeah, next. I met with a rabbi today. You get <laughs> dead ass. Are you serious? Just to, just to talk, just to see the vibes. Uh, it was a little intense. I, you know, I still don't believe in God. So this is interesting. Different. Reverse. I mean, so his lady. So there's been tensions in the black and Jewish communities, right? Obviously, oh, yeah. as of since we've spoke. Shout out to Kanye. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, real quick, I had it when that was going on. Me and Lindsay, black girl, were in. Israel. Yeah. And I was walking around Jerusalem in Yeezys. <laughs> yeah. So he, Max obviously <laughs> loves to push the buttons, but uh, I lo- it, an interesting turn of events. My N word. Lindsay is going to uh, convert Looks to like Judaism. What? Black woman. What? A black queen. We're losing a black queen. We lo- we losing the queen. Yeah. Right? She'll still be Damn. black. My, 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 my kind of line was like, there's no decision here. Like, our kids are going to be black. So you got to do this, or our kids are Jewish. Hey, well, shit. At least they go get in uh, all the all the good perks. Kanye said y'all got y'all control all the shit, so they go. <laughs> yeah, they, they get <laughs> true. Hey, shit. hey, convert me, man. Shit. So I always thought the reparations was that you had to be the minority in your family if you're white. So if I marry a white, you know what I'm saying? You know what? There's reparations. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they get to look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to just take that L. So, but Max li- needs to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so me and Aaron. Moved out of our spot. I moved in with Lindsay. It's been very good. Um, yeah, I mean, good, I mean, music, your career. Yeah, it's cool. It's been a weird few months. Um, I lost a client. Um, I still love him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what happened, bro? <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, okay, so, so the client it. was going to go on tour, and like I told him, you know, I couldn't make it, and I felt bad. Um, and it was kind of last minute for me to tell him. Um, shit went kind of haywire on the tour, 
And uh, we had a little, I wouldn't even say like a falling out on a personal level. I mean, sure, for like a few weeks. But more, uh, we just didn't talk for a while. I'm interested. This is this is Jaron, and, uh, <laughs> and so, so what I'm interested in is not so much you know how how that yeah you know tension happened, but how you repaired it. You know we're here now. So what did y'all do? Yeah, I mean y'all y'all had a heart to heart, obviously, right, Jaron? Yeah, well, yeah, we didn't talk for a while, and um, he hit me up, and I just answered the phone. I I just got over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Really, I just got over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What, I, I'm not really a whole grudge type person. But it's just going to take time regardless, right? Yeah. Everything yeah. take time. Yeah. And like there was definitely. Oh, I missed him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just on, on, in, in my life. Yeah. Because um, there was more than just whatever. Yeah. And so. That's love. We I don't. Gay. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, it's on brand for Max. <laughs> and so, yeah, eventually like we. And I, I don't know what was going through his head or whatever, but like for me, it was like it was kind of that thing that was like ugh, kind of fucked up, and it was almost easier to like not deal with or not look at than like pick up the phone and call. But like one day, I just called him, and it, and we ended up talking for a while, and it was so a little bit of business stuff, but for the most part, it was just like. And that's that, that, that I love because you know you see the business take friends apart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for friends to be able to hold out even through difficult, challenging business times. So shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, so, man, that, I, I miss y'all dudes, man. It was yeah, likewise, man. Like I said, I don't, I don't. He still hates me a little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't harbor hate, man. Yeah. We we here now. Fuck it. That's it. Hundred percent. That's it. Um, and then uh, I know Coast had turned down a big deal. So you thought Max came so close to the bag he could smell it. Oh, it was wild. Is this, is this I, what you was telling me about Max? Probably. Um, so Coast Contra, who who uh, Max has been, uh, you know, building up since they were, you know, just what five hundred followers to five hundred thousand yeah. type thing. You know? Yeah, it was going really well. Um, there was something on the table. I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, you want to get too specific, it. but there was there was some big I, I, bags. Oh, in, that, there in was, the it was right in front of us, and we as a group turned it down because it was yeah, going to okay, involve yeah, yeah. A, what. You told you, I, I think yeah, what because you, it was yeah. gonna come with like a side piece that like was just not gonna work for them long term. So you know, I think it was like almost like it's an interesting because if, uh, from my perspective, it's like higher risk, higher reward. Yeah. If and I do believe when we get there without that, and we have to go another route. Like if you be, don't end up doing a major. For yeah, example, but regardless, right. like I think we're gonna be better off for it in the long run. We'll retain all of it. And it'll be great. Right. Um, but it's gonna be slower and harder to get there. From their perspective, they're all like. I mean, they're wonderful guys. They're also like a, a big piece of it, to be honest, is like their deep, deep, deep belief in like God and like God's looking out for them. They're going to be OK. Yeah. They don't and have faith. the same like faith where I have a fear of the unknown and whatever. Like they just don't have that because they're like so faith based, which is nuts. So for for me, it was like higher risk, higher reward. And when I said that, oh, they're like, no, it's just higher reward. I'm like, <sighs> well, I also as a manager, you know, in the business, it's like, you know, you need to make money. And so yeah. you have a major label deal on the table with a big bag, and then bag. it's kind of like you've been doing all this work, hopefully to get to this point, and now you're like have to be like, okay, their faith, I'm going to go with their faith, and that's got to be challenging, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was a push your payday back a little bit, but hopefully yeah. be a bigger how, payday. How, how long did it take you to uh, accept it? Yeah, it was really. I had a. I. I. I there was a couple weeks there. You should have seen him in fetal on this green couch back <laughs> you here, were bro. Fetal? Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was. It was also like I also went really hard like against what they wanted like like we like vehemently disagreed and i went like very very hard Expl him and the group disagreed yeah me and the yeah. group like again that, like um just like i think we should do a they th think we should do b and it was kind of like we like went into the thick of it and discussed it deeply for weeks yeah. and ultimately when they went you know the route i didn't recommend um of course like forward facing or whatever like I'm gonna push that a thousand percent. That's their will. It's my job to fulfill that to the very best of my ability. Um, but there was a moment, and I talked about this with them after the fact, and it was really good and like therapeutic, if you will. But it was like um, it was really hard, like for my own. How do I say this? Like it like made me insecure. It was like if my job is to kind of help guide the business, I say A, you guys say no, that's wrong. Let's do B. It's like okay, well then, what am I doing here? Yeah. Like that's not true, and that was one example. But yeah. it was a big case. In a big for scenario us, where big the scenario, artist doesn't take the manager's advice, it, it was might like make the manager feel a little bit like, yeah. oh damn, why am I? You know, what if, was my guys, advice worth? Right? Yeah, yeah. If my if you guys don't want to follow my advice, not like a, a mean or nasty way, it was like, oh, mm -hmm. do you guys not have faith in me in some way? So there was like some shit there, but then there was um. But shout out Coast, man. Hopefully they'll get you the yeah, bag. Yeah, and know? by the way, like to to be fair to they'll them, get the, like they'll get the bag, man. They'll get the bag. No, yeah. I, I do think so. And like 
I have a cool relationship like I have with you and like I have with them, like where I was like, I literally told them about the insecurity, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah. like we were able to talk through it and they were like, nah, it's not like that at all. And it was like beautiful. And, uh, yeah. um, so, so we'll see. So we're fighting some shit and um, I think it's going to be real strong. They're fighting the end, a good fight. Fighting like a good it. fight. All right. Shout out Coast Contra. You know what I mean? Shout, shout out, out Jaron Contra. Benton. Shout out all these entities. You know, listen, one day you'll look <laughs> back at that and you'll be like, damn, good thing I didn't mm. do I hope so. I th- and I think there's a good chance. Yeah. I love this, man. I love mm. that, like, you guys also can just wish each other the best, even though, you know, you can wish Jaron, you know, say, for all the wins in the world. Jaron could oh, wish you the wins percent. with Coast. Like, that, that, that shit is love, man. I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> all right, I'll tell you about my shit, man. So, uh, well, first of all, Kyle has, have, I know you're the hopeless romantic, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're about to hear uh, about uh, it. You're going to hear about some more hopelessness right now, Jaron. <laughs> Sorry. So, I went all the way to Africa. Um, <laughs> I went to uh, Tanzania and I climbed Kilimanjaro. Trained for that shit. Made it to the top. Had a great time. Uh, I met uh, a young lady who happened to be from Tanzania. And I think she took me for a ride. Uh, Whoa. We had a nice time. I took her to Zanzibar. Okay. <laughs> took her to some nice little place. I had, I mean, it's, it's cheaper there, you know what I mean? So I was able to, and she had never really seen some of these types of restaurants. Uh, you know, we, 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 you know, the sex Did you get was, up from a third world? <laughs> I mean, I mean, she's a, Tanzania is a third world country. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I see. You. you know, and, uh, you know, she was a little younger, 27, um, gorgeous, you know, and, you know, the, the lovemaking was fantastic. Um, you know, she, she kind of <laughs> caught feelings. It seemed like she wanted me to stay or she wanted me to take her back to the U.S., which was never going to happen. Why? Why was I going to take her back yeah. or, or stay? Which Why one? were you going to bring her back? Uh, no, there's no there's no chance. I mean, she's like deeply like in Tanzania. I'm not trying to save a hoe. <laughs> Why? No. Okay, okay, okay. I got I, I to get my own shit together here, yeah, I was man. Say, I can't really afford his own life. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, I probably could have just set her I up. I mean, you ain't got to go that hard with if she's from a third world country. <laughs> yeah, give her, give, her some, give her a little bit of rice, <laughs> a little bit of some grain. I do some know a guy who... Oh, Aaron! Oh, 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 God, you have to scream yeah. in the mic a lot. Hey, B... I do know a guy who, you know, has sandwich shop ties. So yeah, I could have laced, laced exactly, her that way. You're right. Bro. You're right. Well, you know, whatever, man. I didn't want the complications, the drama. You know, uh, I'm 42. I don't need no 27-year-old drama, especially if it's, you know, uh, Tanzanian. You know, um, I'm, shout out Tanzania. I had a great time. I love y'all. But I had to leave, you know, some things stay in Tanzania. And, and that one of those things was her. Uh, and so, <laughs> you know. my kid, I had with her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so how did she take you for a ride? Uh, because I paid for everything. <laughs> You know, I paid for the trip out to. Ten- we went. We took flights. Uh, <laughs> Had she ever been on the plane nice before? There were nice meals. Uh, I think yeah, a couple times by her sponsor. Sorry. You know how like Africans you sponsor an right. African child? Yeah. yeah. She was one of those African children. <laughs> Are you Shut serious? One hundred percent. Oh, food's here. I think. Oh yeah, food's here. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, well, Max, you down there? Grab it. I mean, I'm in, yeah. In my shit. Um, oh shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, sometimes this will be a nice, fun cut uh, as Max fumbles. Okay, so yeah, so um, but you know, her, and her name was Tattoo. Was she was she oh, beautiful? T a t u. Oh, she's she used to be Maasai, bro. Like the the people mean? who roam the fucking uh, savanna and kill lions and live in like mud huts and shit. She comes from that shit. And then she came up finally to the point where she was able to just sort of like do like whatever. Like the sponsors helped her get a, jo- a job. The sponsors helped. They helped her. You know, they 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 got her on the English tip. They got her into college. Like she's doing real shit now. But you know, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if she's gonna make it to the U.S. Anyway, oh thank Check you. Check this out. Can I play something in honor of y'all? Yes. yes. Go ahead. Check this out. Hold up. We might get this taken down, but no, we probably will. Check this out, man. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? Wait a what is, what is this? What is this? This is an honor Can of you. Let me give you the let me give you the audio. <laughs> she said, take me with you. Is that Rambo? <laughs> I got no audio, man. Hold up. Shit. Here we go. Let's go. For those listening, Jaren just put up uh uh Silent, a, ram- a silent Rambo film. They're getting out of this third world country. She's like, "Take me with you, Rambo." <laughs> oh damn. Oh okay. Basically, she get up and she gets shot. Uh, did you miss Caitlyn a little bit? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not, not really. I mean, 
Who's who's more likely to listen to this episode, Caitlin or the other? The both new girl? of them. I don't both know. Of them are both of them are both gonna. Uh, yeah. Wait, I gotta, does she know about it? The new girl. Uh, I told her we were doing this. I don't know if she knows where the channel is and Just stuff. Just don't tell but, her the name of the podcast. Yeah. Um, well, I told her Aaron put it on the line like that, but I love that, bro. <laughs> it's uh, a. Yeah. yeah, it's a. Um, yeah, they're both. I mean, think, do you think you would look back and like regret this? Like, damn. No, I, I think I think the Caitlin, Caitlin thing was inevitable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like. Now, how old is Caitlyn? How old, how old is she? She was twenty nine. Well, she okay. still is twenty nine. She still she didn't is die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was twenty nine. It's like a death. A breakup can be like a death. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, I miss. Ka- Sometimes I miss Caitlyn when I'm like, just nice to have someone sweet. You know what I mean? Alexis I thought you, sweet. Yeah, no, Alexis is sweet? sweet, but sometimes she's not sweet. sweet you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, and sweet. Also, I thought you said sweet. Like, damn, there's no sweet. <laughs> she's she's a she's a real menace sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm. She's like a Dennis. hot twenty three year old. Like, yeah. there's not like she doesn't have um. She's never had consequences. Re- you know what I mean? She's like yeah. everything's gonna work out. Like that's her vibe. <laughs> but yeah. not are you the, are you are you the guy that's like is she like not not saying she running over you but are you kind of like you know. <laughs> well, you know. I no. I, try, I tried to her. break up with her on Christmas because she was giving me attitude, and I said, "Look, this is not gonna, this is not gonna fly." And she started crying and was like, "No." Oh wow! So I was like, oh. she fought for it. I was like, okay, I guess I'll. Though, by the way, this fucking on Christmas, yeah, oh, on Christmas, she was giving me attitude because I didn't want to send her a dick pic because I'm still a prude kind of, you know what I mean? She I mean, not really. If you're eating pic. ass like twice a day, bro. <laughs> fucking. By the way, this sweet fin tuna fantastic. poke bowl, fantastic. Yeah, good bowl. So you was mad that you didn't? Send, she was mad because you wouldn't send a dick. Why yeah, so, send, send a dick I was, I, no, here's no, the thing. I hear you on that though. I, I don't. Like, that. I, I don't, I, I don't like. I don't like sexting with girls. I'm gonna see again. You know what I mean? I like sexting with Instagram girl or girls I've never met IRL. You know what I mean? It's like maybe they live in like Wisconsin and somehow we interact. Yeah. Whatever. That's can, the allure. Yeah, I could do that, but I don't want to sext you if I'm gonna like also text you tomorrow and be like, "Hey, how's your day going?" You know what I mean? And then in the text thread before yeah. that is like me being like. I want to lick your ass. Like, it's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, like you Uh, going on sex cloud and reality should not coexist. (laughs) Like, you should never have to deal with the reality of what happened after sexting. (laughs) I got a sexting. Speaking of that, you know, if you go through my text thread and I tell (laughs) my kids, mom, not to do this shit, I video shit. So (laughs) she'll sometimes send me a video or some shit. I'm like, yo, you don't, don't send me this text because what if our son gets the phone or some shit? And you know it's traumatizing. Well, that, yeah, I mean, I hope that doesn't happen. You know, I, 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 that your son never has to see, you know, a, a strange video of you or your um... smashing his mom. <laughs> yeah, you know. So uh, speaking yeah. of sexting on Jaren's behalf. Oh, <laughs> so Jaren texted oh, me a few days ago. Man, so this is now, old. hey, keep in mind, listen, Lindsay, this is old. This is before Max. Yeah, even this was a while ago, but uh, like years, but. Whoa! So Jaren sends me this picture like a couple days ago of like this girl like about to take off her shirt like in in a Facebook Messenger chat and he's like what what do you say like what is this and about said, to take off a shirt this well that in the in in the frame of the okay. photo that you sent yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 and yeah, you were yeah, like yeah, what yeah. is this I said I have no idea what is it and he's like and he sent me some of the chat and it's like all right so what it is is. You know, I would go through and do some of Jaren's DMs, listen, respond to some of his fans. And sometimes as, he has as a, his manager, as right? As his manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Helping the and, PR. And, you know, a girl was talking to him and sent him a little bit of a slutty photo. And usually I would just be like, thanks, love. This time she was like, is it really you? So at that moment, I had two choices. <laughs> well, three. Well, I had many. I could have said nothing, mm-hmm. which I often do to DMs. I could have been like, uh, no, it's his manager. I didn't pick either of those. What did you pick? Something along the lines of, like, of course it's me. You're messaging me. Yeah. Me, Jane Jan. Yep. She proceeds to, uh, you know, take care of herself on video. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) A couple times. And then a couple times. A couple times, shit. Yeah. Hey. Kept going, kept going. Yeah. Yeah. I got off that. Did you jerk it to that? You jerked it to her? Yeah, of course. You know he did. Hey, what the fuck? Of course I did. I have like he a jerked it girl as, he as jerked Jaren. Off I jerked, as Jaren. I jerked off as Jaren Benton. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Fun, the funniest shit on there is Max said, say my name. Bro, <laughs> 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 that's fucking insane, bro. <laughs> no, yeah. 
<laughs> bro, I need you to show. You need to send that thread at least to say my name part, bro. That's incredible. Dude. So I forget about that because that he wanted to be Jaren in that moment, no, no, bro. No, 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 no. Say my name. I was just saying the things that came to mind. To get her up. Yeah, I don't know what that was on. No, that oh, was. Oh, you know exactly what that no, was I on. No, I truly don't. When I, what when, do you mean? He I was, honestly didn't remember. He was avataring was Jaren. Was he was listening to Skit so well. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I love oh that, bro. That's, a, that's a really good. Story. Well, I okay. I would like to. He was going in too. By the way, this is XX rated shit. <laughs> Max, Max goes. You got a toy? <laughs> yeah. Holy right. shit. Okay. Well, listen. She brought out. She brought out the toy. <laughs> he he had her get it. Go into the closet. And I get wanted the shit, to huh? see. I was trying to segment Jaren's fans. Super fan, <laughs> super duper fan. So I was just seeing how far she'd go, so I could you know know how much merch to sell her. <laughs> My justification. Um, the um, I don't know. I'd like to keep talk about here. sex. I don't know if we can keep that in here. Why? She went in. Hey, 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 listen, there, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to take this part out. <laughs> all right, but everything before this. No, actually, go. we don't have to take. We don't have to. I'm not even going. This say is it. all ancient history anyway. Don't yeah. matter. Yeah. I know, but still, it's weird. And Jaron isn't even a rapper now. He's an yeah. uh, emo artist. A slash statue of limitations, bro. EMD. That's a bomb. EDM. But uh, you know, but damn. Uh, get, uh, fuck. Go ahead. No, we got to take it out. I ain't even gonna do it. I right, don't do it. Uh, I, but I do want to talk about sexting because. So, so, Aaron, you have not sent a dick pic since being in no. life. Oh no, I have. Oh, with, have. with randoms. Okay, random dick pics. Um, now, angle wise, I mean, are you trying to get? Okay, you know what I do. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the dick pic angle. So you, fl you, fluff, you fluff up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, like it's weird because yeah, what do you what do you what's your I, I push down. Yeah, with my thumb, mm -hmm. so it looks as big as possible. <laughs> you push down from the base? <laughs> no, 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 like like right above the base. Yeah. If you push down, well, on also that I, have part? Like a, I have a lot of hair. Okay, but also you have the, the gut. I mean I mean you're not we're not washboard guys. Maybe uh, Aaron, but So listen, I'm telling you. I mean me, you know, should I've been on my I mean P's there's angles. Shoes, there's definite angles. I'm not showing now. abs and <laughs> cock at the same time, because there's no way to get those both to look decent at the same time. Okay. Um, good, good. But you know, I have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. I've always had a lot of hair, so mm -hmm. I have to like. You don't. You don't manscape, man. I've done it. We talked about it on an episode. Yeah, we had that. One. I've only done that one time in my entire life. Anyways, um, okay. So like, first of all, I have to move some of the hair because otherwise it's just like to a little... find your penis. Let me ask you this: When you <laughs> no, did, but if you move the hair elite... out the way, it looks longer. Do you at okay, least I manscape see. your taint? No, I've never done that. Okay, but, but, okay. Anyways, uh, so, so you're I... moving hair out of the way because you want better scale for your penis. Yeah. Got it. Absolutely. You don't want the hair to I look long, why, as long as the yeah. okay. <laughs> No, it's not that, but it's like it looks like longer if there's not hair covering half of it. So I, I twentieth of it. Uh, anyway, so I move the hair out of the way with my thumb, and then like if you push down, like it, you know, you can just make it look as long as possible. That's interesting. If you have your thumb at the base, kind of push it. Is uh, that is that the trick? You push down. Yeah, if you push down your stomach. You should try it. even when you're fucking. You get more dick, and it feels good. Yeah. Too. What I do, I've never done the push down because the that's dick interesting. doesn't just start. Right I don't. There. I don't like. In. I don't like my when my dick hard. I don't like my dick going down like that's I don't like that. But but down you're lying down is, and it's going up. So if you push, I don't like to be on my back. I don't like fucking while I'm on my back. Really? No. You don't what like if they're it, like you reverse? Like what? You're gonna take a dick pic, leaning forward? Yeah, uh, you're standing? standing. Yeah, uh, standing. What? That's yeah. what dick I would pic's say, a little yeah. weird. No, I do a standing dick pic, I but I use I, a I, mirror. I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you too. I'm, I stand up. I stand up and I like to use a mirror. I'm just a black guy thing. Uh, that is. That's well, how like Chris Brown got got. I like a mirror, and then you know you do a nice suck in of the stomach. Of course. Yeah, and as long as your sucking game is strong, oh, you can look, you can look like a fucking, you know, you look like the right, the real deal. You look like D'Angelo and fucking. Uh, you you got to pause that on that. As long as your sucking game is strong. You know <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> true. You, you know what's crazy? That reminds me of that. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, no, you go ahead. Uh, that reminds me of that fucking uh, football shit where they're like, uh, they're doing all like talking about tackles and shit, but there's like, you know, takes a giant load. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're always yeah. saying. I was watching football. They're like, look at his feet. They kept saying that, like, because he like. <laughs> Barely had his feet in bounds. Like, yeah. wow, his feet are just incredible. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so, I'm starting to deal with um, uh, what's the word? Um, e e d d erectile. Um, oh, e d erectile yeah, dysfunction. Yeah. yeah, it's like Do you oh, have you so have honest. erectile dysfunction at your age. Well, not not, uh, not no no not the first time. But I have some thoughts on this. So not keep going. the first time. I can go with the first time easy. Yeah. Second and third time. Yeah. Round two is always tough, bro. Round two is starting. Round to get tough. two is for me is. 
What? I feel bad for a bitch on round two. <laughs> so so round that's two, interesting. Crazy for me. Really? That's interesting yes. because it's, and, and it, because sometimes round two, I have had it where like if I'm really hungry for pussy, round one's a little too quick. Mm -hmm. And then round two, I'm like, uh, you know, I am ready to be. Round sick. two is always like an extreme for me. Either I can't but really do it that's, or if I can, it's like, oh, I'm I can go forever. But yes. No, round Except for me my is whole love. Shit. But well, I do that weird shit, though. If I you come, second round I knockout guy. Hold it. Cannabis. Yeah, second, yeah that's mm. me. Yeah. I'm going in. Oh, round gotcha, round gotcha. one is just like, eh. Then. Yeah, I, my best has been round. My best performances have been round one performances. Really? Uh, yeah, Michael Spinks. Jaren? Yeah, I'm a round one guy. Yeah. Um, but I think that... Uh, oh, hey! hey! Uh, Umo almost cut off oh. the entire uh, show. Sorry. It's still going for sure? Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Uh, well, so we walk into the podcast studio today and we found these. Oh, well. I guess a podcast from our studio earlier today had Bumble BFF question game cards. I like this. This is a new low for high school dropouts. We're using other podcasts' material. Let's, Wait, let's do it. I think that's just a good excuse for what, us to what hang did they have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the whole. It's always been the case. I mean, this is what got us through the pandemic. Oh, these, yeah. But these are Bumble BFFs. So they're like friend Bumbles, not fuck Bumbles. Dude, it's crazy. Think about how different the pandemic would be if we all didn't just like hang out everywhere. Oh, it, it really did like help a lot. It, for oh, me. it was huge. It's huge. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Get to know your besties. I'll go ahead. Over the question game designed to help. All right. Give, ask a question for. <laughs> that was a card. I guess it's the top card. Okay. Very upsetting. What's something you want to learn more about? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Jaren, go uh, ahead. I want uh, uh, my fucking uh, ancestry. Like, I want to know where the fuck I come from. Wow. You did 23 or you did. Uh, I ain't done it. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I heard um, ancestry.com is the one for black folks and 23andMe is for the white one. Oh, what? That's what I heard. Wait, why? I don't know. There's just more black folks are on ancestry. And so the more people who are on it, the better chance you have of finding out more, That's right. right? So more black folks are on ancestry okay. in general. That's what I heard. My grandparents did it, and it's it's just we're pretty much just from America since like the sixteen <laughs> hundreds. Fair. So they yeah. were here for a minute. Did y'all do the shit where they give you the percentage of uh, race? But what if we found out they that 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 Aaron's people owned? Oh God, Jaren's my people? people. Yeah. Nah, well, you know, it, from, it, I, I don't that know if would it's be true. Wild. Or not. Of course, it'd be some cool shit for my family to say. But from what I'm hearing. So my cousins, this is a classic shit. Wife did some shit. I think I might have. We said weren't slaves. We was gonna say right. Yeah, it's, it's, fuck out of here, bro. Uh, yeah, That's what everyone yeah. says. She, listen. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. You said the nigga was a. Uh, he he was a uh, he wasn't a slave. For real, I don't know. I don't fucking know. We were the free ones. We were killing them and shit. No, but, but I mean, didn't. Okay, some amount of African probably come. After the slave trade, but still came a hundred years. Oh, ago. but that's different. That's different. That's not what you're saying. What are you, what are you saying? No, I, I was. They was. She was doing um, like a uh, lineage on like I think people of like uh my grandmother's. I don't remember the whole shit, but basically she was. She found out. We was trying to find my grandmom's um father's dad or some shit like that. Lost me. So but keep going. <clears throat> My grandma's dad's dad. Okay, you or dad. So yeah, well, your great great My great grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So got you. And she found some more shit on his dad, and it basically, <clears throat> from what my understanding, the dude wasn't like uh, he was like w some well fucking known dude. Uh, he was like half white or some shit like that. I, I don't fucking know the whole thing to even say it. So he was I'm not gonna say all that. He was on some but Frederick my, Douglass shit. <clears throat> he was on some Frederick Douglass shit, from what I hear. That's cool. But as far as my my grandmother's mother. She, no one knows her fucking family. She, she was supposedly, I don't fucking know. I don't know. This drink kicking in a little bit. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, you know, I, one thing, that is the thing. I, you see a lot, I see a lot of folks, yeah, my folks, are so, in Egypt, they all claim they come from the ancient Egyptians and none of them do. So yeah, I was going like, say, yeah, that's, it's, yeah. They're all like, they're all, you're like, well, you know, where are you folks from? Like, they're from, you know, they always say that, you know. Ancient, but yeah, no. no. I want to know. That's what I'm saying. I want to know. I want to. I, I want to know how. <clears throat> All right, that's a good. That's a good piece of knowledge to know. Aaron, what would you like to you know learn? Um, what would I like to learn? Hmm. This year, or is this just like how to get general? your dick up on round two? No, 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 no. It still works <laughs> fine, bro. I'm just saying. I used to have like 
It used to be. I no mean, problem. it still is pretty good. I mean, I, I can I, could be worse. I, I went seven times a couple weeks ago. Holy you know what shit! I mean? so keep oh. keep in this in mind, bro. Yeah, listen, and well, in one twelve-hour period, seven times. One, young young bitches like fucking, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they like fucking no, I've disappointed so many young women. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Last like, night was my first time ever disappointing. Yeah. Where it was like we watched this movie, The Menu. Have you seen it yet, Jerry? I uh, just yeah, I, I love it. Don't bro, tell me, man. We haven't seen it yet. It's incredible. But we we watched that, and it's like one a.m. I got to be up at eight. Like I. I don't want. Have you already gone once? No, but because I've gotten home late, I didn't have no, it in me. I didn't. My stomach kind of hurt. I eaten like too much quinoa. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want. I wanted to. Or couscous, but yeah, I wanted to I cuddle to, and go to bed. I wanted to cuddle and go to sleep, and then she was giving me attitude, like because I wouldn't. But it's like. Yeah, I've disappointed so many young women, and, and to the point where I'm just fine with it now. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, I was. She was like, "I'll go sleep on the couch." I was like, "Okay." Like. Like round, like I've had them say, "Hey, you want to go again?" And I just laughed at my face. <laughs> but, see, I, I get the opposite. I'm like, uh, I, I, I guess because I'm, I have a sex addiction a little bit. So, well, I mean, like, I, but but I'll be like that. I'll That's eat the why pussy I, forever if you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm I got. She that. gotta be. She gotta be into my shit, man. She ain't like no nasty bitch. And your music. <laughs> yeah, she, she, <laughs> like that one chick <laughs> I was talking to. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yo. Yo. No, no, you, I know what you mean. You want to you want your fetishes and your your fucking yeah. all things. If you fuck I can with. get my fetishes, oh we oh, we good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, sometimes you got to disappoint them though, you know? That's real. Oh, I've dis I've disappointed, but I'm But I'll good. eat the sh I'll eat the shit out of pussy. Like I don't like I will do it now. And growing up, you know, it was we've talked about this a little bit, but it it was taboo. You know, you were thought of as less if you ate oh, pussy. I love eating pussy. No, and yeah, then back like, when we was kids, certain yeah. artists like Lil Wayne and you know, oh, they man, sort dude. of made it big. And I know a girl. I'll eat pussy on the period. Okay. Uh, all, right. I, 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 <laughs> all right, dude. I'm okay. okay. That's okay. A, you, you, you doubt I, me. I'm not, <laughs> no, we no, don't no. doubt you. That's not the groans. I've tried it. I've tried it. Yeah. I'll, well, no, what is it like? Oh, it's great. Metal. Does it get on your I, I face? Didn't go, I, didn't go, I didn't go crazy in. I love it because it's oh, like, no, no. I just look around the No, no, no. Listen. It's natural, It's First of all, I, I've met some women who absolutely were thrilled by it. Also, blood isn't as gross as poop. Poop's pretty gross. I, yeah. I, I, I but I was thrilled. Mr. Ass eater. Uh, that's better. I than just me. think I'm in like a blade. You know, I think I'm like a vampire. <laughs> 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 okay. It's just oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't even have sex with someone. On that oh, period. I love that's sex crazy. on the period. I, that's crazy. I, that's all I was doing last week. It's the best. I won't do it. You have to tap you know, into like, the you, primal, like the war oh, vibes. War. You know, why no. why don't you do it? Is just freak you out or some shit? You know, no, it feels goofy. You know how you said you don't like hot tub pussy? Yeah. I don't like bleeding yeah. pussy. No, it feels no, no, the no, same way. No, it's not hot tub. That is it don't it don't feel like water, but I, I feel you. I'd rather it, fuck it, a bitch in water messy. than have her. It's just this the way it feels. Thicker. It's thicker, nah. exactly. Ooh, it's no. like blood a, is thicker in the water. Yeah. Blood is thicker. Yeah, yeah. Is that's thicker. what I'm saying. Is that the episode name? I'm going, blood water. Is thicker I'm going with some bloody pussy over water pussy every day. Oh, shit. Bro, I've been talking to all these YouTubers about monetization. They're like, oh, we can't say fuck like more than three times, or else our CPU. Oh, yeah. Like, if like, we're, blood we're, thicker we'll than never water, make money. bloody pussy. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll never run make a money. Kleenex ad over this. Yeah, this is no. Um, <laughs> this is not a great. Kyle, investment. I got a different question for you. Yeah, what celebrity do you not like, and you can't fully explain why? Um, oh, that's a good question. Oh, wow, I can't fully explain why. <clears throat> okay, this is gonna sound somewhat that the motherfucking Gus on um from from Breaking Bad. Yeah, I don't like Gus. What's his you name? Don't like him Enrique. as Gus, or you don't like him in general? I can't explain why I don't like him. Like he's like a great that, he's a great actor. The actor, like he's I've seen him in Mad Shit. I forget his name, like Juan Vislo. Stevio. Yeah, he's a Stevio type of dude. <laughs> and, and, and like, I'm sure he's great. I bet he's a virtuous individual, great. But for whatever reason, I don't like looking at that dude. You know? There's some people I just look at and I'm just like, that's, this is not for me. I don't like him either, really. Yeah. This is not for me. Yeah, for So that's, that's me. Him. No, Even, most people do. That's the thing. I'd say just there's something about it that's out of pocket. He gives me bad energy. Yeah, there's something out of pocket there. Like, if, if you I know saw, why I fuck with him? Because he looks like he would diddle children. From first from. <laughs> And, and and I know that, I, that he I probably doesn't. He just looks like he would diddle. My first introduction to him was on Do the Right Thing with Spike Lee. Of course. And then he was on uh, Clockers, right? 
Uh, he yeah, played, he yeah. Was, it's, it's Estevan. It, yeah. Estevan. Estevan got yeah. the dope and it's the best shit. And then he was fucking yeah. his sister. Yeah, I, maybe it's because that shit. Because he was a greasy motherfucker in that. You know? He was. Now I'm curious he what his slimy motherfucker. Gus Farina but I, but, it, but I mean, obviously, look, whatever your name, uh, what's his name, Enrique? Giancarlo Esposito. Esposito, man. Yeah. Esposito, Giancarlo? like, no disrespect. Giancarlo. When I say that you look like you would diddle children, I'm not saying that, like, I know you don't. I'm just saying We don't know he doesn't. That's a good point. I uh, thought he was Hispanic. Yeah, I think he's like he's, Italian, he's a, Hispanic Italian. mix or some shit. Yeah. He's Rip. Italian and like black or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, he's, but I mean, or that's Irish to his credit because some sometimes like you don't like the person because their characters are so deplorable. Yeah. You know? Because he, but no, I don't think I'd like Born him. in Copenhagen. I feel you with the face shit though. Like you just, a certain person's face just like. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, there's something it's kind of dope. Facing. Born in Denmark to an Italian carpenter from Naples. We got to have him on. And an African American opera like singer him. from Alabama. Oh, he's probably very cultured too. Yeah. And that, that pisses oh, me off. Oh, yeah. That pisses what me a off. fuck. When he was younger, he fucking Oh, he, crush. Oh, dude. He made Aaron <laughs> seven times in a day look like fucking ED. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Yeah. 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 All right, John Carlos. So anyway. that's the guy. Y'all got any guys y'all hate? Or women? <laughs> women any woman lead in a movie i, I realized oh, no, no, here we go no, 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 I'm just saying, like any I just, woman who's successful I, in no, life no, no no i don't hate them i just i just realized you got because you guys watch like queen's gambit and like all yeah. this stuff with like women i love that movie man. i won't i know i'm, I'm sure That's they TV are show. what about kathy bates though because she's fucking no i don't know who that is um <laughs> yeah i don't know who she is. you know the lady from misery yeah no fried green tomatoes come on the southern never, never oh i know yeah, yeah. do y'all watch american horror story american horror story no, if she was the lead, I would not watch okay. that. Whatever show has a woman lead or a movie with like a woman lead, Dude, I'd love to get Kathy Bates and Esposito on. I'm trying to Never think. Name happen. some name some women leads that maybe I'd a like. Fire, uh, Cameron oh, there's Diaz. There's a fire movie, man. Huh. I, uh, this this a fire TV show on HBO that nobody just slept on. It's a uh, fuck. It's a female lead in there. All right, well, it's he'll... the chick. What's the bitch name? She like redhead chick. She played on Superman, the new Superman. Well, this sounds like a goose chase. <laughs> definitely sounds like a goose chase. Um, yeah, name a movie or show with a woman lead. Well, I'll tell That's you. Uh, Queen's Gambit. Oh, I know you talk. Wait, wait. Um, well, now I'm on Jaren's wave. Where I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. What's this Think thing? of a What's movie this? with a... Well, Queen's woman. Gambit, she was all right. Uh, Queen's uh, Gambit was good. X-Files. I never watched it. Never watched it. I ain't really watched X-Files like that neither. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Kathy Bates, that was the mom and water boy. Yeah. Weeds was cool. I ain't watched the whole. I, I, I ain't watched the whole fucking shit. But weeds, was weeds. Good. At, you know what? Shameless. Shameless. I was shameless in love was amazing with that le- that shameless girl. Was she was yeah. a bad ass. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know oh, what? Uh, how about? I mean, she's not. She's. I call her a lead. Fucking uh, Ozark. Ruth was the fucking Ozark. Yeah. I didn't watch Ozark. Oh. I watched like a season. What about Jennifer Ozark, Lawrence, bro? I didn't like Ozark. No, I don't care for Jennifer. Lawrence I don't like that Jennifer much. Lawrence. I love Jennifer Lawrence. He drives me nuts. No, no, I love Jennifer Lawrence. Be easy with that voice. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that, got, that got weird. I know because yeah. I really Lawrence, love her. What, what, what's okay. Jennifer Lawrence? What's she in? Uh, Hunger she's Games? the Hunger Game lady. Hunger Games. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with her too. I love Jennifer. Oh, yeah, she was in the... I love uh, Ruth. The fu- what's, her? Uh, what's the shit? The uh, playbook, what's the name of that shit? Silver Linings. Silver Linings. I oh, love yeah. her. Um, well, yeah, I mean, there's been some... So- shout out to female leads, man. Shout I mean, out to I know, female leads. I know, right. you know. Yeah, uh, sometimes it could be it could be it could be tough for Aaron to pro- to process, but <laughs> but you know, just love underneath. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're a Cartersville boy, I get it. Yeah, man. Car- it's, it's, <laughs> I can't help it, man. What's in the news? Hey, we this. never, you know, this shit. Oh, hey, Max, how do you oh. feel about Kanye, man? Uh, tough because oh, Kanye, we're gonna talk about Kanye. Talk okay. for a few minutes about Kanye. It's tough. I I don't know. Um, what, is there thing? anything happening right now? He's, he was missing and now he's found. Yeah. Okay. But he wasn't really missing. I mean, fuck Kanye, sure. You know what I'm saying? But like, I saw Scram was like, oh, he's talking some real shit. <laughs> fuck Scram. Oh. Um, <laughs> nah. Um, I mean, obviously didn't like what he said. It, it's okay. So a few things. One, he was like my favorite artist of all time. Um, oh, he had said was. Wow. Wow. He, he was. Well, I, and so when it started happening, he talked a little. I was like, eh. Because, like, we don't, I can separate art from the person in the sense yeah. of, like, I don't know, a lot of artists are like, I don't know if they're good people, bad people. I have no fucking idea. It doesn't no. really, whatever. Van Gogh was clearly a nut. I don't know, but he was a great art, whatever. So, like, there is some separation there. Um, so I still, like, my you like is, Van Gogh. Yeah, very good. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Well, so, so, there, I, you know, so I would separate it, first of all. Um, mm-hmm. It doesn't. I don't know if I want to support it by listening to it, but like his music's still amazing. I still think he's a great designer. His clothes are great, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, his shit, I think, stoked 
some hate. I don't agree with it. I thought it was shitty. Um, I also think he's a bit of a nut. Like, yeah, are there some, like, elements of, like, he's not an idiot. You know, never thought he was an idiot. So, like, but, like, if you look for patterns and groups of people and, yeah, sure. F- uh, fuck on you. Wow. Yeah. yeah right. I was in full Yeezy garb and Alexis lives near, like, a Jewish boarding school or something. Well, sure. There's, like, a lot of Jewish boys <clears throat> living there. And uh, full Yeezy garb. Like, I had the hoodie on, the shoes, and I was like, oh, fuck. Like, it's just what I had on. Yeah, you were fucked. And then I'm walking by. Like, they all have the um, the hats. Yeah. And one guy is <laughs> making straight eye contact with me. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, it's at night. Like, I just want to go. I'm just trying to make it. And he's like, hey, quick question for you. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, shit. Like, I thought it was going to be like, do you know what he said? Like, are like going to educate yeah, yeah, me yeah. or something? And I was like, fuck, fuck. He's like, where'd you cop those? I was like, yeah, what? And he goes, <laughs> are you Jewish? And I was like, no. He's like, okay, have a good one. And then that was it. But I was like, is he? Oh, he know. put you down in his murder list, yeah. bro, right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, maybe he, maybe he would have felt a little bit more disrespected if he was Jewish. Yeah, I've been like, oh, he's like, oh, this guy's like going to hell anyway. Type shit. Like he's <laughs> not one of the chosen ones anyway. Like, <laughs> no. I don't know what yeah. he was, but that was. Pretty... I don't know, but it, it was tough. It was tough, and like, um, have you worn well, the, the easy the thing too? Because that was your goat. I mean, yeah. I remember you oftentimes saying that he was yeah. your goat. I think he's the hip hop goat. Yeah, because he's he still it. rocking his clothes. A little bit, <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little. Not really. I wear slides sometimes. They're just the best slides ever. Um, <laughs> what was interesting was the Kyrie thing on the back of that. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Go ahead. So like Kyrie, uh, what, again, I don't know these people, but like Kyrie Irving, Nets uh, point guard. Yeah, Brooklyn who like, Nets. He didn't go nearly as far or as deep. He also has had ridiculous takes over the years. Flat He's earther. A flat earther. Uh, last year, he refused to take the vaccine, so he couldn't play home games in New York. I mean, so you know, you're starting there. A flat um, earther anti vaxxer says some fucked up yeah, shit. Yeah, says about, some shit. That Chappelle uh, joke was so good where Kanye got in so much trouble that that Kyrie got canceled. That was good. That was fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> they'll be killing shit. Huh? <laughs> I know. But uh, still didn't like. It's not so. Much, okay, so I also think Kyrie didn't come from a hateful place at all yeah. but i didn't get that vibe i just didn't yeah um that being said like it stokes shit it does um which sucks and it drives people further apart um whatever the, like if you look at the comments under and then what was fucked up and i talked to like my brother about this is like when they got canceled it like everyone who like thought or felt some type of way was like see it is true because yeah. they canceled them which is like yeah, y'all yeah yeah <laughs> Which that was, shit did kind of make it look Which a is shitty, bit more. you know what I mean? But then people were like, that would never happen. But it's not true. It's like, it's not like it doesn't happen to other people. It definitely ha- happens to other people get canceled. You know what I mean? Like, my example was, um, as far as something NBA related, Donald Sterling, that awful shit came out within four days. He didn't own the Clippers anymore. So it's not, you, you know what I mean? Um, and it happened again with, and, and it definitely wasn't hateful. Who was it? The owner of the... Oh my God! It was like very recent of the Hawks, or no, not the Hawks, not the Hawks. Suns. The Suns uh, quoted someone, but like in like he was he was like talking to his his team. He's the owner of the team. Yeah, he made it. And he was like, "Let's go N words," but like not like like obviously not okay. But it definitely wasn't hateful. It was like again inappropriate, stupid, fucked up. But it wasn't like hateful. Like if you read how it went yeah, down, yeah. I don't remember exactly. <clears throat> it came out now. He's sell- now he was like being pushed to sell the team. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. No, Jews aren't the only people who have the power to cancel people. I, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, it's, so it's a trope. And it, no, mm. I don't think that. I think, yeah, like I agree with you. Different people get canceled. I just think, I think all the shit they just, the amount of shit that Kanye West lost was so yeah, like oh shit. No, that was crazy. And then and then like, the punishment the for Kyrie seemed a little much too. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying. Um, and and it just didn't help anything. Uh, so I I mean I don't know how the best way to deal with a situation like that, but it's like. Uh, the it people like who Kanye wanted that. It, Kanye's a little bit different because he like Kyrie was like he okay. doubled down and tripled down and quadrupled down. <laughs> like Kanye's whatever. Um, for a second, but with Kyrie, it was like the punishment was like pretty fucking severe. I I don't know what the right 
punishment was or if a punishment is even the right thing at all. I don't think but a was, punishment, I don't think nobody should, I mean. That's the thing. The whole of idea people, of punishing didn't feel. Well, and I think then what happens is, you know, the streets get pissed off at that. Yeah, you know, so because, it just made the whole thing so, that it like, comes from worse. And so then, you know, there's already a bunch of junk out there sort of tying Jewish people to, you know, like, you know, these tropes, <laughs> right? And then like, okay, that's out there for them, to, for ang someone angry to grab, for the streets to grab. So the streets are going to grab that shit, you know mm. what I'm saying? And, 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 so and, yeah. the thing that would upset me like the most or whatever in that whole thing was like the comment under like a bleacher report IG post about Kyrie's punishment. Yeah. And the comments were just like, you know. But does it bother you? I guess this is – yeah, and I, those are obviously like yeah. hateful and shitty. Yeah. And I can see that how that, that would feel hurtful and shit. I'm wondering does it bother you on the other side when like, okay, <laughs> then there's, there's, you know, some people who are like pretty alarmist, you know, who are like – they're, you know, they're coming for all Jews now, you know what I mean, like, type shit, if, like, you see those comments, you know what I mean, someone, because you do get that, I mean, I, you know, I have, I have friends who are, like, you know, like, who will propagate that, like, off the bat, like, oh, the, the, you know, there's so much, you know, it's rampant right now, and it's, it's like, we're in danger, and I wonder, like, does that, you know what I mean, because I feel like one does sort of, like, bleed into the other sometimes yeah you know I mean? for sure and i think people definitely take it too far yeah. i think that's going to be way less upsetting because again like if you look at the numbers like there's way more people that dislike jews than there are jews mm -hmm. so like just from like a numbers perspective yeah are there some jews who are way too quick to every sure every jew that's like cares about israel and is over 50 years old thinks everyone's an anti-semite right <laughs> you know what i mean so like yeah right. it's like a little ridiculous and like yeah. you know we make fun of our parents for that you know what i mean but it's not like you do yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We we'll, like roast my parents. Like, like, like we'll, get, we'll we'll be at a restaurant. Their order will come wrong, and I'll be like, "Dad, he must hate Jews." <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like yeah, joking. Because yeah, yeah. like, yeah, they go too far. Yeah, yeah. But like, you hey, get they, mad at they people? also are from a different era. Sure. Where like, I'm not. There's to more trauma in that era. There's from, so much. It's so close it's like, to the World War II. Because it's so close. Like all their parents. Some of them. Like my yeah. dad was born in like the 40s. Yeah. So like, and his parents and my mom's parents like were survivors. Yeah. So it's like, for me today. It's like, I see some of it, it's whack. Yeah. But I don't have this, like, Trump that they had where they were, like, you know, survivors with, yeah. that weren't well, into it's the country. Well, tantamount know? to, like, black folks who were, like, every single thing is the yeah. white man because there's still that trauma of, like, you know, okay, mm -hmm. that wasn't that long ago that, like, it kind of was. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah. No, I feel it. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you signing off, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> in, anyway, so uh, just to wrap it up, I guess, would be Thank that. Thank you, Max, from the Jewish perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Our resident Jew. Oh, yeah. Jew. <laughs> right. Max Alchemist. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the Cracker Report. Now <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 for the Red no. Report. Aaron. <laughs> nigger, nigger, nigger. <laughs> 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 And now for the confused mulatto. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, so uh, you know, there's other pieces of news. I mean, I did, this may pale in comparison, but uh, uh, Lisa Marie, right? Lisa Marie Presley died. Damn, so more RP. A yeah. lot of people, I feel like, died. Who's that? Le uh, it's, I feel Presley's like daughter. that too. Uh, Everybody is fucking dying. Who's Elvis's died so far daughter. this year? But I want to. But, but I want to. Uh, go ahead. Gangsta Boo. Oh, Gangsta oh, Boo. Yeah. Uh, that was your from, homie from Three Six Mafia. That was my died. Home girl. R. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Fucking Boo, man. Yeah, I met Gangsta Boo once. Yeah, that's fucked, man. That Fuck. was the home girl, man. Yeah. Damn. No, I'm sorry. Sorry for that. For the loss. You know, that's that's tough. That shit crazy because another home girl. Um, actually, a mutual friend of ours, Gangsta Boo's home girl, is like she died the same way. You remember me and Dirty's uh, uh, Speaker Fox? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the overdose. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah. like shit crazy, man. I, I'm gonna just say this. Is that the Fenton? Y'all gotta get these test kit. Them I heard you can the get the kits and shit to test your shit. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what I don't know what. Uh, they said it was an overdose for Gangsta Boo, but I don't yeah. know probably fine, huh? exactly what drug it was. But um, yeah. damn man, That's, and Lisa she Marie was, was such an a cool well. fucking person know. though, bro. Okay, yeah, Gangsta Boo, man. <sighs> well, there have been a number of deaths already this year. Yeah, I don't know um, why I keep wanting to get back to Lisa Marie, and here's why: because of the video with fucking Michael Jackson. You know what I'm talking about, Jaren? That you are not alone. Oh, and yeah. it's her naked. I think I jerked off to that like 10 times. <laughs> well, she's dead. See, so I, I was watching you. porn at that time. See, that shit no, <laughs> couldn't do it for me. No, this was, uh, bro, there wasn't really much porn cracking at this time. This was pre internet yeah. porn. I had some tapes. No, nah, you were not alone. Here with you. And then she's we in had the bathtub. To at least 14, now, 13, 14 when that shit was out. Yeah, my man's had a tape, you know what I mean? But that always yeah, felt weird when it was cribbed to fucking, you know, jerk off. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? You're in the bathroom and shit. The dad gets home. Uh, I have a story. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, R.I.P. Lisa Marie, yeah. R.I.P. Gangsta Boo. Forget my story.
some other people too. We missing a bunch of we people. We definitely missing some, some, someone like big died. What do you mean? Like bigger than anyone we've mentioned. Like someone yesterday? just fucking died. Uh, what are you typing in? Who died like recently? Yesterday. Yeah. No, I was killing a fucking bug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Jaren's see. always uh, I, the the side shit that Jaren does during these episodes is oh, is, yeah. is very quizzical, very interesting. Uh, what were you sipping on a second ago? A little Bombay, man. You know me. You okay, a little me sapphire. Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this is embarrassing to show this gigantic bottle and it's like always, you know, Bombay Mafia. My holidays was going. Jeff Beck died like two days ago. Who, who's that? Yeah, Jeff Beck. Who's uh, that? Legendary. Uh, come on, man. Beck, Jeff the singer. Beck? Nah, Jeff Beck. Who that? I don't know who that is. Maybe it was late December. Who's Jeff Beck? Is it actor? Yeah, guitarist. Nah, musician. Like, oh no, I don't know no Jeff Beck. I'm sorry. Who? What did who did he play with? He was 78 though. Um, oh, so he was like, all right, he was good. He yeah, had a good one. That's a good run. He had a good run. Yeah. 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 All right, shout out to Jeff Beck on a good run. I, I didn't really know who you were. I'll try to check you out. I'm sure I heard some of his shit. I, I don't know. That's just a, a, a hole in my knowledge. You definitely heard some of his shit. I'm like looking because I'm like, damn, I don't. Who the fuck? As you're saying, I'm like, damn, who is Jeff Beck? <laughs> <laughs> you know Jeff Beck? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Walters. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Yes, Barbara. That was the one Walters. I was thinking of. Yo, when I did saw. That happen? I saw. It was like December 30th or something. Bro, I saw an interview with Barbara Walters like when she was younger. Slam bad. <sighs> I ain't lying. I ain't think so, bro, man. That, Twitch. No, you didn't see the good one, bro. Christy Alley. I don't know. That bitch was. Uh, he wasn't feeling it when she was young, bro. Nah. I'll take a young Walters any day, dude. It's so. Cr- I didn't know Barbara Walters died. It's crazy. Yeah, I've been like Barbara living Walters in kind of a died, hole. Bro. You know what I mean? Like literally. I've been just, like been grinding. Grinding. <laughs> Aaron Carter. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Aaron Carter. Yeah. Take off, obviously. Oh, I mean, now yeah. we're going back to last take off. Yeah. We didn't even talk about take off. Take off was a bummer. Yeah, it was trash. That we're fu- missing another. I feel like it was another big. This turned into like the one. fucking uh, the the Oscars Cooley, where they have the like the R.I.P. section. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's been seven months. Like who's died in the last oh, the seven queen, months? Yeah. The queen died. Oh, the queen died. Last episode. <clears throat> you know I'm gonna say this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that I was gonna get some. Fuck the queen. Aaron, yeah, fuck for sure. What? I'm gonna ask you a personal question. Okay. You ain't got answer. Fuck a queen. Okay, you know go, ahead. go ahead. Olivia Newton. You, smash, you smashing raw? Oh, Olivia Newton. Yeah. Am I smashing raw? Olivia Newton, man. Of course he's smashing. Physical. Let's get physical, dude. You know what? I've been I've been hanging out right with these influencers. I have this guy, <laughs> this guy I've been hanging out with, and You're he, to upset he's me. he's shown me a whole new world. I I was like, he was telling me how this was his. He's a sociopath. He's six seven, beautiful blonde hair, shredded, yeah. and uh, he was telling me how he he fucks raw every time, and he fucks thousands of women. He's and, on that paleo diet, and he's on the paleo diet, no carbs, and he he busts in every single one of them. If that they, nigga tripping. If he asked them if they care. He goes, he goes, where do you want it? If they go, I don't care, he busts in them. And he goes, even if they request it somewhere else, he busts a little in them and then pulls out. But then he says the uh, second which time. Which is kind of rape in a yeah, weird way. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Then the second time he said, he pulls out every time just to switch it up. But every time, the first time, he likes to plant his seed. Some real. Wait, what about tripping. having babies? Well, that's. He's like, he yeah, says he's he, tripping. He says he might be infertile. Going. I don't know. He busts in every single one. Or if there's any scare, they uh, plan B it. And... If there's any scare. If he busts in every yeah, single one. Right. But he's fucking, a, he's fucking a lot of. He fucks a lot of influencers. And so they fans. all have IUDs. Yeah, they were born like, with IUDs. Yeah, they, and they don't, they don't want to have kids because that's their money. But you know what I mean? Yeah. He's yeah. fucking a lot they of. They were born on Disgusting. Pills, yeah. yeah. Hollywood beautiful. demon swines, yeah, who are beautiful, <laughs> who are fucking beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm, I mean, I wouldn't even. Know. He has sex with six of them at a time, and I don't think I could do one v one. You know what I mean with some of these women? Yeah, that's interesting. I like the idea of you know I couldn't even really do one on one with some women. You know? <laughs> like you, you, you know, even women that you, you can visualize having sex with, if it really Hold came on, down you to it, you can't do one on one. What does that mean? Like, like, you can't, like, like he's saying, okay, Menage on six, and I'm like, you know, there are some women that are just that might be too much. You know, they might be too much. Not for Jaren. Jaren, they... <laughs> not, not, not for Jaren's round two though. Yeah, Jaren's round <laughs> I'm two. Breaking, I'm breaking. No, I, I'm breaking. I'm, I I try to break a bitch down, man. I'm gonna fuck that nigga. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, see, I can't do that. There, there's just no the whole lead. Some of these women, you look at them, and you're like, "Do you have that?" What? Some women nah. where you can't even. It's imagine not even one. about the domination factor because I like to be dominant, but it's more the factor of like, I'm just gonna run out of energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I have been a smoker now for like. You've been years. smoking cigarettes. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, that would be crazy if you're like, that was a, wow. No. 
All right. Yeah. So we did our little RIP to yeah. those we lost. Um, I think uh, we did race. We did tits. Yeah. What else? What else we do we have? On in our, we caught up on our years. What else? It's just good to see everybody. Oh, great to see y'all, man. Are, are we trying to do this? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's fucking. We'll do it. We'll try to get some clips. We'll get the Filipino editors on it. Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna do it. So are we, we doing this? Like, are we? Y'all already got a sweatshop, huh? Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Switch. the the first order of business when you you know when it's just we, successful. Oh, I guess we kind of have one. Um, <laughs> every every day at nine a.m. Oh, I little, talk to Filipinos. A little piece of news. Uh, you know, we're broadcasting from Pink Cloud Studios, and uh, we Not a studio are, man. Our our, our second room, our is, second like main I music saw room. It. Yeah, our second one is almost done, bro. We just got a desk for it. Aaron helped us pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, Aaron. Um, we have. Uh, sixty five hundred dollars uh in unpaid bookings. So we're really hoping that this motherfucker <laughs> pays us. From one client, we have more, but that's from one. From client. one client, uh, kind of need to finish the. Oh, and we're we're we don't know if this client even exists. We might have been catfished by a client. <laughs> we might we'll have been see. Catfished wow. by a customer. But aside from that, Pink Cloud, <laughs> Fortune five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Pink um, Cloud, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Do we expect to see each other again in a week? Yeah, let's do it again. I'm down. I'm with it, man. This is a I'm, chill time. I'm with it. Thursdays? Yeah, Thursdays is great. Thursdays is six ish. Yeah. I love it. All right. All right. All right. Good Shabbos. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, Shabbos. Good Shabbos. <laughs> it's not Shabbos. Love you. All right, later. Hey. <laughs>